Hey guys, Red Lama here. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about this 1660 Super MSI Venus XC OC Edition that I recently got from Facebook Marketplace. I got it from this kid who was, uh, well not kid, he was 22 years old, but he uh, he was selling it and I decided to go out and check it out. So I ended up going to Garden State Plaza Mall met up with him in the food court somewhere that uh, was really public and he did mention to me in the past uh, people had tried to you know steal us from him they tried to like rob him so luckily he had uh, his his gang there pretty much <laughs> and it was just <laughs> just me I'm like yeah it was just me so uh, yeah but it was in a public area so it was fine uh, I had him open up the box I had him uh, open up the G, well, show me the GPU. And what I had to do was, I just wanted to, I'm not gonna show the serial numbers here, but um, what I did do was, the serial numbers is behind my finger, but I verified the serial numbers were on the box where the man were matching serial numbers on the GPU. They were not. So it brought some concern to me but then he was very open and had said he had mentioned that he had two of these and he grabbed the wrong box and in that situation it seems kind of a little sketchy but he was he had the receipt on his phone and so he just ended up emailing it over to me so i was able to well i can in the future if needed i can rma this if there's any issues uh, with it as long as it's not physical issues like if you dropped it or something like that but here's the card on the rig right now this is the new one i got the super this is actually a ti but what ended up happening was i had to repad this because it would only run for eight hours and then it would stop and when i opened it up it was dirty as hell there was dust and it's just all this gunk that was there for like I guess a year or so and um, I do have pictures of this one TI and thermal pad setup but basically these two are exactly the same in terms of thermal pads uh, the thermal pads were basically like partially on the on the um, the VRAM on the door portion of this GPU which <laughs> did nothing it, it, that's probably why it was overheating. The VRAM was probably overheating and causing the car to crash, and then it was just not operating after that. So what I ended up doing was, I took these apart. I, there was only four screws on the backside, and then there was uh, a section here. You can kind of see it from this view here, but there is uh, some screws here. Underneath it is, I guess, inductors. And I also replaced the thermal pads back there as well. And a total, I think everything I had used was only two millimeters thermal pads here. Uh, complete, same thing with this TI. And I'll do some screenshots. I'll, I'll put some screenshots of the TI. And basically, they were the same. Um, but yeah, it, this is actually, actually pretty good. We're getting 31.78 on ETH. This is a Hynix version. Uh, so I had to clock it a little bit different from the standard uh, super version, well, standard Samsung memory. Uh, but yeah, this is actually going pretty well. And I got it from Facebook Marketplace, all places. And I suggest if you guys are looking into doing the same, there's a few things you need to do. You need to make sure that the person you're talking to has a real Facebook page. He's not just like a brand new Facebook page and there's like no, nothing, no history there. That's the first thing you want to look for. Second thing you want to look for is uh, when you get the part in hand or if, as you're talking to this guy, ask him where he got it from, what was he using for, for it. Um, mining, game playing, doesn't matter. You, you, want, you want to get an answer out of him. And then uh, you want to ask if he's willing to provide the box and the receipt. The receipt is important because that way if you ever need to, 
you can RMA it. So let's say I went ahead and I just bought it off of this guy. I had no receipt, no nothing. When I cut, when it came down to arming it, I had nothing to prove when I got it. So it probably would, uh, it probably wouldn't honor the warranty on it. So with the receipt in hand, either email or something, some kind of confirmation, I am able to army this if needed in the future. Um, this card was actually kind of on the cheap side. I got it for $300. Uh, usually this at MSRP a year ago was $240, but I, yeah, I over overpaid. But I think uh, overall, was a, it's still a good deal because I know, um, well, we'll see if it's a good deal or not over time, but <laughs> I paid overpaid by, what, $60, but should be fine uh, but yeah I think uh, there's a few things you just have to watch out for and then also you want to see if they had uh, done their own maintenance on it by changing the over pads on it and the way you can tell is if you see the screws in the back side uh, having some kind of worn properties down down on it then you know for sure it has been uh, not tampered with but they've been doing some maintenance on it and I think this one does. EVGA has a sticker on it. Uh, MSI has like a little dot sticker that goes on the top of the screw. So you should be able to see stuff like that. Uh, also another thing too is you want to take a look at if there's any dings on this plate here. Meaning that they had dropped it or they tightened it down pretty tight. Um, yeah just so look at everything and anything on this card. Not this specific card but um, if you're looking at a Facebook marketplace for getting a GPU because uh, there are some crazy people out there oh and another thing is safety <laughs> make sure you're in a public area I wouldn't bring cash and actually I would just discuss with the person beforehand if uh, or how you're going to do, do the payment I prefer to do some kind of like Vemo um, PayPal or even uh, Zilla um, this way there's some kind of record of it in the future you could pay cash but again this is a 1660 super a low value card that I don't think you want to bring around two thousand dollars if you're getting like a 3080 or something like that so or I'm sorry 3090 so all right, guys, so that's my experience uh, with Facebook Marketplace. I think uh, overall it's been good. Uh, I've only gotten two cards on, off, off of it in the past year, so this is my second card. The first card, I think, was a 3080 uh, full hash rate card before LHR was out, and I got that at MSRP with the, the guy or the fellow who was selling it, so that was a good deal, too. And, uh, yeah, that's it, Brian guys uh please hit the like button subscribe if you want to see more content like this um and i'll i'll see you guys in the next one take care